Okay, it's been a while since we've been at my crafting desk. Uh, but I have this fun thing that I wanted to share. I bought stuff from Sophie and Toffee. I have never purchased anything from Sophie and Toffee before, um, but I was super excited about it because, as you may have seen from my UV resin starter video, I am suddenly starting to be into resin. I made, let's see, this really cool galaxy charm out of stuff from Daiso and Tim Holtz Distress Inks. Um, if you're interested, I will link it up in the iCard up here. But yeah, I made this and this little nebula looking thing and another little tiny Saturn charm. And I just really had a good time. Um, but like I said in that video, I need a better UV lamp, which I didn't know at the time of placing this order because I was just really excited about, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. I have this box. I would like to open it and I would like to show you what I got from Sophie and Toffee. <laughs> I would like to point out that this box is super cute, by the way. Like, not only is it purple and white striped instead of a regular just like cardboard box, but it has like a really cute little cupcake and stuff. I like, I'm, I'm very excited about it. I saw this on my porch front step and was like, oh my god! Anyway. Oh, these are pendant molds. Okay, pendant or I guess maybe earring. You'd probably be a little big for earrings, but. So I have an idea for, I had an idea for a video, which is why I ordered this. But um, I didn't really check the measurements. <laughs> so it makes a little, little half circles. Really little half circles, oh boy. Well, we'll see. Maybe it'll be okay. Oh, this. This is a two-part mold maker, but it's clear. So it's suitable for UV resin. It's part A, part B. I have literally no idea what it says. Um, it looks like the instructions are in Chinese. They are not in Japanese, so I have literally no hope of ever reading this. So I'll have to ask Google Translate how that works. <laughs> but yeah, it makes uh, clear molds that look like this. Or at least they're supposed to be clear like this. So I can use them with UV resin or two-part epoxy. Well, it's a little tiny mixing bowl and little stirring implements. So this makes little gemstone looking things. You can't really tell from the mold, but like crystal clusters. Kind of scares me that it's a little thin here. I can definitely see through. Can you see that? Yeah, see that? Look right there. It looks really thin right there, but whatever. As long as it holds, I don't care. <laughs> Let's see. So here are my little UV resin films. I got these super cool holographic-y clocks and alchemic circles because I figured that going back to my other thing that they would either be that the little ones would be a good size to sort of fit inside of this size bezel which I have several of and then the bigger ones would fit inside my slightly bigger slightly bigger bezels. Yeah. See that? Thinking ahead. Look at that. So that might be cool. That that might be in an upcoming video. Um, I got these city silhouettes. I thought these would be cool for making a sort of cityscape. Uh, obviously, because that's what you would do with it. Duh. But I had an idea of trying to make like a sort of forced perspective with like different lightnesses and opacities of resin. Um, it made a lot more sense in my head when I saw this online. I will maybe do a video about that so you can understand what I'm talking about. And there's another holographic -y one. This is a, a space nebula y kind of one. Uh, I was thinking it would be useful for doing more galaxy type ones. 
like I've already done. I, I just had them on camera. You don't need to see them again. But yeah. And then, oh, of course, I had to get Alice. Alice in Wonderland is my... I, I love I love Alice so much. Um, we have a lot of Alice things, so I'm very excited for these because I will be making Alice things because I, I just love Alice. This Mermaid Puffy is air dry clay. Oh, it feels very firm. And that makes me a little nervous because once air dry clay is firm, but it looks like maybe it's fine. I don't know, we'll have to find out. But anyway, so I wanted this because it is uh, biscuit colored. And back in the day, I used to make a whole bunch of um, like Lolita-ish accessories with little cakes and cookies and charms and things. So I wanted to maybe get back into that because I really enjoyed that and I've done it in a really long time. Uh, oh, these are heart molds. I wish these had come a little bit sooner because then I would have had them for Valentine's Day. So instead of posting a pop and cooking video, <laughs> which had hearts on it and was cute and whatever, and was pink, but I would have made maybe something out of resin with hearts. But anyway, I have this one. I liked, I bought this one because it has the curved hearts as well as like the sharp edged hearts. And I really like the curved ones. I don't care so much about the sharp ones, but these are poker suits. You know what? Funny story. I think I already have this mold for my nail art stuff. And you know what? I bet it's the same kind of mold. How interesting. I will have to compare these because I got them so that I could do, of course, Alice in Wonderland themed things. But I have a mold for nail acrylic. Hmm. I think it's just about the same unless I'm insane which is a possibility but anyway this is for making more Alice things little star shaped cookies little dollops of whipped cream so I couldn't not little little stars, little bats, ghosts, pumpkins. I'm, I'm very excited about this one too. <laughs> it feels so thin. I'm, I'm nervous about this one. This one's very thin. This one's delicate. I can literally feel it deforming when I touch. Even this one's not so bad as this one. This big square is... Ooh. Anyway, um, I don't have any teardrop shape molds, so... I thought I would get this so I could have a teardrop shape mold. Smaller than I thought though, which I'm not so excited about, but again, they list the size of their molds on their website, so that was likely just a measurement error on my part. I'm bad at centimeters. <laughs> yeah, they, look how far in that goes. It just looks so thin at the points of the big ones. It makes me so nervous. I don't like it. To make a pocket watch shaped shaker mold. I, I have no idea how they work, but I guess we will find out together because I'm definitely going to let you watch me fail miserably on making these. All look like they're the same thing. Hmm, I thought there was like three different parts so you had to make three different things and put them together to make the shaker, but it looks like they're just three of the same thing. Which I can see if you put the resin in this side carrot, take it out, then you put the clear sheet on top. Is this split? I don't know. I'll figure it out, I guess. Put pocket watch because Alice, of course. These are syringes to fill shakers. There are some other fun things you can do to resin with these. Yes. Besides full shakers. Oh, this is an acrylic rolling pen because the one that I have is very thin. This one's much thicker. So I wanted a bigger one because it makes a flatter, more even surface when there's a more surface area. Have, I have a set of these, but I use them for fondant, 
and you're not supposed to use things for clay and for fondant, so these will stay with my clay things and my other set will stay with my fondant things. And hopefully we'll never get confused. Oh, I got glow-in-the-dark pigment dye for my resin. I wanted to play with it. Doesn't that sound cool? Glow-in-the-dark, and I got black because I figured I could do like a galaxy kind of a thing. And then it would glow, wouldn't that be cool? I don't know, I thought it would be cool. This is a duochrome powder pigment. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. If I move it like this, see how it turns kind of red, and then a kind of blue, green. It's a color shifting pigment. I thought that would be fun to add to some stuff. This one's better than the other ones. It doesn't, they don't go anywhere near as deep because I think it was a mold they made and then put this other backing piece on. I feel way better about this mold. It seems way more secure than like this mold. I'm just so afraid. This is so thin. I'm, I'm definitely, can you, can you see how it bends so easily? Like the bottom of this one doesn't do that because it doesn't go in so far, but that one, I'm just nervous about that. I don't like that at all. I also have these little Alice charms to add to any Alice things that I make. Now, these fun things. I was trying to keep these all together because I know what these are. Some of the other things I forgot about, but I didn't forget about these. So these are hair sticks. I got these fun bezels to fill with resin and make little hair sticks out of, which I thought would be super neat. And then I'll, I saved the what I think is the best for last. It's the thing that I've been hiding and kind of avoiding. This is the entire reason I placed an order in the first place. Because this was out of stock for a long time. And then they just suddenly restocked it. And I jumped on it as fast and hard as I possibly could. Because get your mind out of the gutter. These. All right. This is a full set of dice molds but they're not the regular numbers if you can see that I have a set of dice so I have a set of dice that I mean they have all this extra like kind of elvish filigree tanguar around it but they have these really fancy numbers they're not just like plain boring numbers and that's what this set has let me See that 20 on the D20? All right, now here's my D20. See how the 20s, the actual numbers are the same? I was so, so, so devastatingly excited when I saw that because I love this set of dice, but I've always wanted to like I've always wanted to be able to have like whatever color or style I want or glow in the dark or you know whatever and you can't have all the dice because it's expensive like it's super expensive <laughs> to have all of the dice even though I, I've tried to collect all of the dice so anyway when I saw this I was like oh my dreams are coming true um the set apparently other people had the same dream because the set sold out This is the whole seven dice set and I'm just so painfully excited about it. And then there is one more thing in here um, because I spent a stupid amount of money. Um, I was actually eligible for the $10 free stuff bag, but it was sold out or they didn't have any more in stock. So I ended up with the $5. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more thing in here. It must have escaped. This I also purchased. Did I also purchase this? Right, so I forgot about this one. <laughs> this is one more. Some more little dollops of whipped cream, a biscuit star, and a little cookie. Now there's only one thing left. And like I said, I was eligible for the $10 free thing, but they were sold out of the $10 free thing and the 
the free things from Japan and all that good stuff. So I ended up with a $5 one. And I have no idea what is in this. So let's figure it out. <laughs> it's a little dragon and an egg. Oh, it's a bezel. How cute. Look at Shaped keychains. That's cool. What is this? Is it a shaker? Oh, I think it might be. Yeah, it looks like a, a shaker mold. Maybe. I think. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> That's my guess anyway. My guess is this is a shaker mold. A little like magical girl shaker mold. So that's cool, okay. Oh, some green UV resin. So it's already dyed UV resin. Oh, cool. Cane slices. Uh, looks like they're all little desserts. Little jelly rolls, little cakes. Cake slices, buns, cupcakes. Cool, very cool. Well, that's super nice. It's always nice to get free stuff. Alright, well, that's it for my Sophie and Toffee haul. I hope that you are excited for upcoming videos I'm going to make with this stuff. If there was anything in particular that you really want me to try out or show you or see from my little box, please leave it in the comments section below. And thank you for liking and subscribing if you liked this video and would like to see more content or are excited for some upcoming things from this box. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.